Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thanks for joining. I got my creepy little uh, clay head here. It's almost Halloween. I figured we uh, do some sort of uh, creepy decoration. Why not? They'll be staring at you the whole time. I apologize about that. New knife. Just got it. Brand new to Microtech as well. Uh, it's the Microtech Amphibian. It is a truly strange, uh, is one word to describe it. Um, but a good way, good strange, you know, uh, if you can use that in a good way. I love it. I think it's, I think it's an amazing knife. The body of it, the handle is, is just, it's a fluted, uh, aluminum and it's just uh, so strong and, uh, great ergonomics. I mean, this is a very long knife, uh, specs on it, overall length, about 9.25 inches, blade length, 3.9 inches, handle length, th uh, 5.35 inches. Total weight's about 5.9 ounces. M390 uh, MK steel. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure, guys, on the complete details on that. Uh, what what makes it an M390 MK? Um, that might be uh, something to research uh, for next time. Uh, it's got the tip up pocket clip, which is uh, reversible, which is nice. And then it's got the really durable ram lock. I mean this. This is a, it's a great setup. The thumb studs are, are really uh, interesting. I mean, I've never seen anything like that. Um, it's just got a nice stair-stepping situation. You can grip it low or up in the middle there. Either way, you're going to get good purchase on it, and, and that, that sucker's just going to fire out. Um, size comparisons. Let's see what we got here. It reminded me a lot of my CQC 15, at least the blade did, so just subtle similarities. There is obvious, obvious differences too. The CQC 15's got that Tanto tip to it, but uh, that this just the recurve. Uh, I don't have a lot of recurve blades, and uh, I thought that reminded me of the CQC 15 by Emerson. Uh, I mean, I said normal size knife. I guess the CQC 15 might be a little on the large size, um, large side. The other one will be the the Hinderer XM18, which is more of a uh, more accurately called an average size knife, I would say. Uh, so you can definitely see the amphibian just kind of towers over it. Uh, bigger knife comparisons. We got the you know big old. Uh, Marauder H, which it pretty much, again, just uh, about the same size. And then we've got the Strider SMF. All those guys are... So this is a large knife, basically what I'm telling you here. It's a, it's a large knife. Fits great in the pocket, though. Doesn't take up a lot of room. Um, uh, I just did that off camera. Sorry about that, guys. I'm still trying to get the hang of this, uh, this frame here. Um... It's great. I mean, it comes just wonderfully centered. If you can see that, uh, the pocket clip's all right. It's not too bad. It's it's pretty strong, um, but it's uh, I've been pretty pleased with it. I haven't used it hardly at all. Uh, but the uh, the recurve is going to give you some interesting cutting options. And then uh, the only one I had available to me at the time was the partially serrated, which I'm kind of glad I got that. Well, knowing me, I'll probably you know see a. Uh, a non serrated and maybe black blade or something and just a different style and I'll uh, I'll jump all over that one too I bet anyway guys that is about all I had to tell you today this new amphibian if you need a knife that's uh, you know 9.25 inches long and strong as heck and just really comfortable in the hand I recommend the uh, Microtech amphibian it's 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 a very sweet setup that's about all I have for you guys. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll, uh, I'll be back with some more content. Catch you next time.